David Keller and his family don't keep bees, but he's still getting quite the buzz. A lot of people thought it was hilarious, and a lot of people were getting upset. Last month, he saw a service dog that he thought wasn't acting right. I could very easily tell that it was not a service animal because it was pulling the owner to the parking lot. So he decided to take a stand. I was thinking that it's just too easy to get these animals to be service animals. And he went to a website called usaservicedogregistration.com, successfully registering a picture of a beehive as a service animal. To bring awareness to the issue that anyone can do this. Turns out there's a whole lot of service animal registration websites out there. And with little way to verify a real service animal from a fake one, you might ask, What's the point? And down. According to a person who trains real service animals. They're very silly. <laughs> they don't mean anything. Um, you can go pay for a registry on one of those websites and basically you're just paying for a piece of paper and to put your name on a list. Though these sites do highlight a real problem. People passing pets as service animals. Training is how you tell if it's a service animal or not. There are a few rules. Federal law says only dogs and miniature horses may be used as a service animal, so no bees. The law is pretty clear that a service animal is a animal that is trained to perform a specific task related to the disability. And as it turns out, the animal doesn't actually need to be registered anywhere. And Keller hopes he's proven his point. It's making people believe that all animals are service animals when they're not, and there's a clear difference. Max Gordon. Yeah, good job. Arizona's family.